Welcome back to Chosen Generation, everyone. Today we are doing a reaction video. We're gonna look at some kid preachers, preachers that are young, that are kids, that are little, little, little preachers. We're gonna see what they're all about. That should be interesting. I don't know. So let's check out some kid preachers. So this first one is Kanan the preacher. Uh, I think he's supposed to be like four years old or something. So uh, yeah, let's let's see Kanan. That's not even a real Bible. That's not, what is that? That's a, like, it's like not even a, it's not even words in there. It's not even a real Bible. It's a good start though. Gotta use the word of God. You know, that is not even a real Bible. There's no way. What are you preaching about, Canaan? <laughs> what are you preaching about, bro? Okay. So he's preaching on <laughs> what? What? Okay. Those faces right there sum up this entire video. Look at. Look okay, at. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're just like, what am I, what, what am I seeing right now? I can relate to that. Like a man's church to the man's church of Pentecost, of Pentecost, of Pentecost is what I do for the one more Mississippi or that cat's Yes. Remember the Lord done. Oh my days. The faces of the crowd right now. Like that guy is just like Bruh. What? What am I doing here? And then and then his mom is like Go Kanan. Wow. Just completely opposite opposing reactions. Got the one guy who's very skeptical and bored and then the mom's super excited and proud of the little guy. Which comment down below which one you're you more identify with? I think I'm with I'm putting him with the big guy the, with the pink shirt. I get I get what he's feeling. Hey, he's not wrong about that. What did he just say? <laughs> what? Okay. That makes a lot of sense. If the Lord has the words, then you have the Pentecost, Grenada, Mississippi. Okay. True. True. Again, true. Got the youth in the front. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to follow where he was going with that. If the Lord has to do it, then God is going to do it. No, I'm not. I'm not following. I'm not following along right now. <laughs> Got a little boy just bouncing up and down. He's like, hey, that's my preacher right there.
Okay, now his dad's talking. Or his grandpa. Not sure. Oh, okay, it's his grandpa. Wrong. Sorry, she's wrong about that. Um, she's trying to refer to the verse where it says, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, the praises of God show forth. But nowhere in the Bible does it say, Out of the mouth of babes that God created us. So, no. So, Canon is one of those little babes. Okay. Okay. Amen. Praise God. So that was Cain and the Preacher. Honestly, my final thoughts about it, it did sound like he was just regurgitating what he's heard before. It just didn't sound like he actually knew what he was talking about. At some parts, it just sounded like he was just repeating what he's heard his grandpa or dad say in, in the past. And like, yeah, it just, some of the things he said didn't make any sense. And so I think, you know, if you're going to let a kid preach, you might as well actually preach. It's not just a show or entertainment, right? You actually want to hear the word of God. I'm not saying God can't preach through kids. I'm just saying not all kids are called to preach at such an age. So be careful with that. So that one, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not convinced that that's really something that should be happening. If I was a pastor of that church, which I'm not. If I was going to that church... I'll talk to the pastor about it. I'd be like, hey, maybe your son shouldn't preach at four years old. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. So the title of this video is, Is This Young Boy the Future of Religion? It's on Thinker. So, uh, yeah, this is Ezekiel Stoddard, young preacher. I think he was 11 or 12 at this time. So uh, let's see. Let's see what he's got to offer. Okay, okay. I'm kind of. I kind of like this guy already. I like him. I think he's more believable than Canaan the preacher because he's actually like more mature. So yeah, this guy seems. He seems pretty. Seems, seems pretty legit so far. Bro, he's bold too. Like he's just like, nah. My name is Minister Ezekiel Stoddard. I'm 11 years old and I'm a servant of God. He didn't even waste time. I respect that a lot. I like this guy. Hey, you know, that that's possible. You guys remember the story of Samuel? He was called at a young age too. So, I, I don't doubt that. That definitely could have happened. I'll take his word for it. Again, same thing happened to Samuel. So, I believe him. I can't describe what the voice sounded like, but it was the voice from God. Because when does man come by and tell you, write a sermon, an eight-page sermon, I'll give you everything. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for this day. It brings you a good feeling when God steps in. It's like a brighter day 
The sun is shining. Kids are playing, having a bicycle race. It's like a different atmosphere changed when God stepped into my life. You'll take a bike. That's facts. That's facts. God changes everything, right? So, uh, yeah, again, we speaking truth, speaking truth, speaking facts. A Bible dictionary, a commentary. He will sit down and study and connect. I think the biggest thing that impressed me the most was that his knowledge of the word, which is really a critical state when it comes to preaching as far as I'm concerned. I came to tell you about Jesus. A child is now born. A child chosen by God is born to save his people. For he sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved. Speaking about Jesus. Now let me take this a little deeper. When this child was born, it shifted the atmosphere. It started a new beginning. Come on, let's say amen. 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 Well, I... <laughs> he's, he's very confident. He's very confident. And like... Yeah, no, he's, 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 he's preaching. So say that. Ezekiel expounding in the pulpit. He has a different demeanor and he's firm and he's assured about what he's doing. To be able to expound on the word takes courage, takes knowledge, and it takes God's spirit dwelling within that person. And when I prepare That's my very service, true. I like to keep it quiet so I can hear God speaking to me. Good, because good, a, good, a lot good. of times Satan really tries to, you know, make noise and cause things to happen to get my mind off God. What I would do, I would pray and I would meditate and I would listen to the voice of God. And what he tells me, he gives me a certain scripture, he gives me a certain title, and he gives me things to write down in between. And everything that God says, you just got to keep on writing. Don't stop. Just keep Yo, this guy is like... Everything he's saying is very, 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 very accurate. Like, whenever a preacher is supposed to preach a sermon or make a sermon or anything like that, that is what you're supposed to do. Read the Bible, pray, and listen for God's voice. So, absolutely. Perfect. Keep on writing until God takes a break. Ezekiel, his witness, his testimony, is very inspiring. I would have him come preach whenever he's available. How many 11-year-old preachers are ordained? First of all, ordained means to be set apart. That means you're called out from the ministry, and you're even called out from among other ministers that have not been ordained. I know men uh, my age that have been in the ministry for 10, 15 years and have not gotten ordination yet and have been ordained. You feel like praying for some people? Even at the age of six, he minister Ezekiel wanted to pray. He had a heart for the people to pray for the people. He has such a tender heart. Father, I'm praying for right now. You have a reason for this woman to still be here today, Holly I speak healing right now in the name of Jesus. God, pour into her like you've never done before, hallelujah. Use her right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, heal her right now in the name of Jesus. Yo, this guy's... Like, he's praying like powerfully too. Here's the thing: a lot of people think kids can't do this and stuff like that. Pfft, nah, God never said this much. You have to be this old or this height to be used by God. So, absolutely, this is this is really cool to see. Actually, like I'm actually like genuinely impressed by this kid. Wow, he's older than me now, probably, but it's really cool to see. So, hey, if Ezekiel starter is out there somewhere. Hit us up. This is really cool. In the name of Jesus. Wow. If I didn't know Ezekiel, I would be skeptical. I think it was Nightline showed a list of young preachers that started out like this, even younger, and they investigated and found out that some of those children were being used by their parents to make money. So you understand the skepticism. So I had a long talk with Ezekiel. I said, do not be offended because someone is skeptical they have a right to be some people are just concerned my first strong role model in my life was my stepfather pastor vasconcella smith when a strong male steps in and really take time to say son i want you to come over here and we're going to talk about some things i really appreciate what he has done in our lives i really thank god for him because without him and god we wouldn't have made it this far. Just to you all to the Lord in prayer. Watch your work on me and go, because the Lord will do great things. I 
did not want my children to hurt like I have hurt. I, as a young girl, have been raped. And I've had my entire family turn their back on me at a very young age. Whoa. Okay, that got deep really fast. Like deep. No, that no, no, that, that got pretty serious. Fast. Yo, this is actually impressive, man. Like, I'm actually... <laughs> this is impressive. Comment down below what you think about this. I, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. This guy, this guy seems legit. His family seems really cool. Invested in the word of God. Solid foundation. This is cool. I like it. This is really good to see. Oh, I really love my mom. I would die for her right now if somebody would threaten her. I've had an uh, altercation before when somebody had talked about my mom. A lot of children today are missing God in their lives. Sometimes kids pick on me of my belief and faith in Christ Jesus, but it hasn't changed my mind about anything. As you can see, I'm still preaching the word. Because I want every child to know who God is. I want every child to prosper. So what I'm saying to Yo. Okay, this is actually, this guy, this guy is respect. Because that age, if you're just doing it for, think about it, right? If you just, if you just, if you're just preaching for fame or for like attention, how much abuse would you want to take? How much like would you want to be made fun of? But if you're doing it and you're being made fun of at school and stuff, and you're still doing it, that means it's deeper than just attention and fame. So this guy, yeah, he's he's real. He's real. To everybody now, and especially the parents, is that you need to get your child involved in Christ. That's what I want to say. I need you to stand to your feet and say, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I need you. Hallelujah. Jesus, I want you. I can't go no further without you. Hallelujah. Without you, I wouldn't be nowhere. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He leads me beside the still. My goodness. Yeah. I can't control it. It's just the spirit of God coming on me. And I shall not walk. The Lord is my light and my salvation. He shall heal me from all of my enemies. I love your enemies. Love them that persecute you. Hallelujah. Come on and give the Lord some praise. I believe that Ezekiel was called to make a great impact and hopefully win some souls. You know, Jesus, he never stood in one place. I would really like to uh, be an evangelist. Okay. You know, to travel all around the world. That's what I want my future to be like. Awesome, man. I see myself at a podium preaching to a lot of people, a couple of million. And I can see myself telling them what Peter said. Repent ye and believe the gospel. My hands stretched out wide, reaching up, reaching up to the sky. I, sometimes I have dreams about it. And when I dream about it, it's amazing because when I wake up, sometimes I feel like I'm at that time right now. Awesome. Yo, but this is sometimes I realize this is great. I'm still a little I think in my dream, I'm, I'm like 20 or 30, and it gives me that feeling that I can push forward. Yo, okay, respect. Yeah, man. So that's it for Ezekiel Stoddard. Comment down below what you guys thought about him. That that's cool. That's probably one of my my favorite favorite ones so far. That's that's really cool. Yeah, round of applause for Ezekiel Stoddard. It's like he just seems very he's very well spoken, very articulate. He's very, uh, very bold and confident. 
all signs that the Spirit of God is truly dwelling in him and truly, truly empowering him to do what he needs to do. So, again, he's equal stuttered. Well done, my friend. Great stuff. I have to end the video there. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a like because if the video gets 20 likes, we'll do a part two of it. We're going to drop the second part. But that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time right here on Chosen Generation.